Hello. Today I would like to introduce you to the Procore in QuickBooks integration. To start, I'd like to walk you through the integration map. These are the items that can be synced between your project management system in Procore and your QuickBooks accounting system. On this diagram, you can see the items that have the green arrows next to them that point from Procore to QuickBooks, show you what can be entered in Procore, and then exported or synced to QuickBooks. The rows that have the orange arrows that point from QuickBooks to Procore show you what can be entered in QuickBooks and then imported or synced into Procore. If we focus on just the first three rows on this diagram, these are a few of the areas that we believe our customers are saving a ton of time with the elimination of manual or duplicate entry. So first, you can take your standard cost codes in Procore and sync them to QuickBooks where they are used to create service items in the item list. You can then in turn use those service items to allocate your costs on transactions that you enter for your projects in QuickBooks. Once your standard cost codes are synced, you can start exporting any new projects you create in Procore to QuickBooks. This creates the job record in QuickBooks and syncs it with the project in Procore. What you may be noticing about this row is that it has arrows going in both directions. This means you are also able to do this in the opposite direction meaning that you can also import jobs that you may have set up in QuickBooks, creating new Procore projects based on the job data in QuickBooks. Now, projects aren't the only area where we see this bi-directional integration. The same is true about the way the integration works between the Procore company directory and your QuickBooks vendor list. Any companies contained in your Procore company directory can be easily exported to QuickBooks where they are used to create new vendor records. And since this works in both directions, any vendors that you have in your QuickBooks vendor list can be used to create new company records in the Procore company directory with the click of a button. The next piece is really the workhorse of the integration. With the integration, you are able to create your commitments, which include both purchase orders and subcontracts, for each of your projects in Procore, and then sync them over to QuickBooks, where they are used to create purchase orders on that side. You can also create your commitment change orders in Procore and sync those to QuickBooks. When commitment change orders are synced to QuickBooks, they create new, additional line items on the purchase order in QuickBooks that they are associated with. The same workflow applies to project budgets. Budgets for synced projects can be entered in using the Procore budget tool, then synced to QuickBooks, where the information is used to create the estimate for the project. Once the budget has been synced with QuickBooks, you can start taking advantage of what many consider to be the biggest benefit of the integration, which is the retrieval and display of the cost information being entered on a daily basis for these jobs in QuickBooks. For each of your integrated projects, your project managers will be able to see their direct and job-to-date costs by cost code in the Procore budget tool, giving them more visibility into how they are doing in terms of actual cost versus the estimated or budgeted cost without having to request any information from your accounting team. As new cost transactions are entered in QuickBooks, the information is automatically synced up to the Procore budget, making it available to your project teams, helping them make more informed decisions while out in the field. To demonstrate all of this, I will jump into a project in Procore and walk through each step. So here I am logged into Procore on the Portfolio tab at the company level. I have quite a few projects here that have been synced with QuickBooks. Each project in Procore that is synced with a job in QuickBooks is denoted by the green ERP linked banner. The job here that does not have the ERP linked banner has not yet been exported to QuickBooks. Let's go into one of the synced projects. And as it stands right now, this project is synced with a job in QuickBooks, but I have not entered or synced any financial data yet, such as a budget or commitments or commitment change orders. Let's start by getting a budget entered and then we can walk through the steps to sync it over to QuickBooks. Now here we are inside the budget tool for this project, and again, you can see there isn't a budget yet. To enter the budget, we can either key it in here manually, or it can be imported from a CSV file using the import option on the right. I will use the option to import the budget, as I already have one prepared in an importable format. And now that the budget is in Procore, we can send it to QuickBooks. To do this, the first thing we need to do is click Send to ERP. But notice that it is grayed out. This button is only available if the budget has been locked. 
And now that the budget is locked, the Send to ERP button is available. I will go ahead and click it. The budget is now ready to be exported to QuickBooks, but it doesn't happen automatically. With the integration, anything that is going to be exported to your accounting system must first be approved by someone at your organization who has been designated as an accounting approver. The Send to ERP button is your way to get the budget to the accounting approver, who then reviews it and decides if they want to accept it and go forward with the export to QuickBooks or reject it back to you to make changes before it is exported. The accounting approver will do this at the company level on the ERP integrations tab. In this case, it is a budget that is waiting to be exported, so we will go to the budget sub tab. And here you can see the budget awaiting review on the ready to export filter is the one we just sent to ERP from within the budgets tool. We have two options here, to reject it or to accept it and export the budget to QuickBooks. If I select reject, a comments area appears where notes can be entered. The notes entered here are included in an email that will be sent to the person who sent this budget to ERP letting them know their entry was rejected. So it is always a good idea to include enough detailed information so that this person knows exactly what they need to do to correct it before sending it back to ERP again. Alternatively, if we choose to accept it, the export button appears. And all we need to do to get this sent down to QuickBooks is click it. This may take a moment to complete. When it does, the message here will change to show that it was successful. Now that the budget shows it's been successfully exported, let's go take a look at how it appears in QuickBooks. So here I am in QuickBooks, and I'll go to the Customer Center and select the project that we exported the budget for. And here we see the estimate that we just exported from Procore. If we open it up, we can see all the budget items listed by cost code with the description and amounts that were entered in Procore. Back in Procore, the estimate no longer appears on the Ready to Export filter because it's been successfully exported, so now it will appear under the Synced filter. While we are working on the ERP Integrations tab, let's check the Commitments tab to see if there are any subcontracts or purchase orders waiting to be exported. It turns out there is a subcontract and a purchase order waiting here for us to review. These were created for the project using the Commitments tool in Procore, and once they were marked as approved, the Send to ERP button was used to send them here for us to review, much like you saw with the budget a moment ago. The workflow is going to be the same here as it was with the budgets, where the accounting approver can either reject or accept each commitment. So to give you an idea of how this works, I will go ahead and send one of these to QuickBooks as well. The information about the commitment and the project it is for is displayed here. When I click Export, this is going to be sent to QuickBooks, where it will create a purchase order for the vendor. I'll go ahead and click Export now. Now that it shows it has been exported successfully, let's go take a look at it in QuickBooks. In QuickBooks, I will open the Vendor Center. And if I select the vendor that was used on the commitment that we just exported from Procore, the purchase order that was sent down appears here. We can drill into that purchase order to see the detailed list of items, descriptions, quantities, and amounts that were entered on the purchase order in Procore. And now back in Procore, we see that the commitment no longer appears on the Ready to Export filter and has been moved to the Synced filter. One of the biggest benefits of the integration for your project managers or anyone looking to see real-time actuals flow from their accounting system into your Procore project management system is all going to be inside of the budget. So let's go back to the project we were working on earlier and open the budget tool. Now that we have a synced budget for this project, we can see the job to date cost being pulled in from QuickBooks right into the budget. You can see that if I hover my mouse over the column heading, that this is information being retrieved from QuickBooks. Another area in the budget that may display cost information from QuickBooks is the direct cost column. You can decide if you want to populate the values in this column manually in Procore using the direct cost tool, 
or have it flow in automatically from QuickBooks. To be clear, this column is designed to show you only your non-committed costs, or direct costs, for each cost code. If you choose to allow this to automatically calculate from QuickBooks, the amount in this column would represent only the costs that are not associated with a commitment in QuickBooks. Let's go back to the company level and back to the ERP integrations tab, and I'd just like to run through each of the remaining subtabs that we haven't discussed yet. The standard cost code subtab is the one that opens by default. I'd like to direct your attention to the filters on the right side of the page. The default filter that opens is ready to export, which shows any new cost codes that have been added to Procore that are ready to be exported to QuickBooks. If all of your cost codes are synced with QuickBooks, as is the case here, there will be nothing displayed on this filter. We can see all of the cost codes that have been synced with QuickBooks by selecting the Synced filter here. Now, let's jump over to the Vendor subtab, and it's the same idea here, as we have some similar filters on the right side of the page. The Ready to Import filter opens by default, and it displays the vendors that are set up in QuickBooks, and here we have the option to link them to an existing company that is already entered in the Procore company directory, add a new company to the Procore directory using the information for the vendor in QuickBooks, or we can archive the vendor, which has no effect on anything in QuickBooks. Archiving a vendor simply moves it from the Ready to Import filter to the Archived filter here, and essentially it is your way to tell Procore to ignore them. Now you may recall from earlier in this video that I mentioned that Vendors and Companies was an area that has a bi-directional integration. So while the Ready to Import filter shows us the vendors from QuickBooks that we can use to add to the Procore directory, the Ready to Export filter is kind of the opposite. On the Ready to Export filter, we are seeing companies from the Procore directory that have been sent to ERP and are now waiting for the accounting approver to either reject or accept an export to QuickBooks. The workflow here is exactly the same as what you saw earlier when we exported the project budget and a commitment. If you want to see a list of all of your synced vendors, you can select the synced filter on the right and they are displayed. Now let's look at the Jobs subtab. You can see that we have the same filters here that you saw on the Vendors tab. The Ready to Import filter shows the jobs that are currently set up in your QuickBooks accounting system. If you want to add one of these projects to Procore, all you need to do is click the Add to Procore button. This will add the job to your Procore project portfolio and it will be displayed with the green ERP linked banner that you saw earlier. If you will not be adding the project to Procore, simply click the Archive button. It is important to note that this integration is intended to be used on new projects going forward only. It is not intended for jobs that were already in progress before the integration was established because the historical data from QuickBooks will not sync up to Procore. All of the other filters work just the same as described in the previous tab. The Ready to Export shows projects created in Procore that have been sent to ERP for the accounting approver to either reject or accept and export to QuickBooks. The Synced filter shows all of the projects that have been synced between Procore and QuickBooks. And the Archive filter shows any projects from the Ready to Import filter that were marked as archived. Now to the Budget subtab. We were here earlier, and you can see the budget we exported to QuickBooks is no longer displayed. It is no longer on the Ready to Export filter because it has already been pushed down to QuickBooks, so it has been removed from the Ready to Export filter and placed on the Synced filter as I described earlier. Since budgets can only be entered in Procore and exported to QuickBooks, there is no Ready to Import filter, and the other filters function in the same manner as described on the previous tabs. The Commitments tab and the Change Orders tab work just like the Budgets tab. Commitments or Commitment Change Orders that have been sent to ERP and are awaiting review by the Accounting Approver will appear on the Ready to Export filter, and any that have already been synced with QuickBooks will appear on the Synced filter. The last area under ERP integrations that I would like to discuss today is the Job Cost subtab. 
On this tab, we display a report that pulls budget and cost information from QuickBooks. This is in addition to the columns we discussed earlier in the Budget tool. On the ERP Integrations tab, your accounting approvers will be able to review the cost information for any of your integrated projects. For each project, you can see the original budget, commitment amounts invoiced, and job-to-date cost figures. On the right side is a drop-down that controls which project for which the data is being displayed. Now this report is also available at the project level. So rather than accessing it from the ERP integrations tab that we're at now, I'll choose the project we were working on earlier from the dropdown and then go to reports. Now I just need to select the QuickBooks job cost report and the same report we saw earlier is displayed. It is displaying the same information. The only difference is this time we are accessing it from the project level so we do not have the ability to toggle between different projects on the right like we did when this was accessed from the ERP Integrations tab. So these are the features that are currently included with the Procore and QuickBooks integration. But we are not stopping yet. We have many new features on our product roadmap that we plan to add to this integration to make it even more robust. So this is really just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. Some of the major features and enhancements we are hoping to add to our QuickBooks integration feature set over the next year include the ability to synchronize budget modifications and approved estimate change orders entered in Procore with the estimate in QuickBooks, the ability to export requisitions entered in Procore and use that information to create vendor bills in your QuickBooks system, the ability to export payment applications entered in Procore and use that information to create customer invoices in your QuickBooks system. And finally, we are also currently researching an enhancement that will allow you to export your employee time entries entered in Procore to QuickBooks, which will reduce the manual entry required of your payroll staff, eliminating data entry errors, and speeding up the process of issuing employee paychecks. Now here is where you come in. We are always seeking information from our customers about new features or enhancements that they would like to see added to the software, and gathering feedback regarding possible changes to existing features that will allow you to use them more efficiently. If you have ideas that you would like to share with us regarding new features or changes to the integration between Procore and QuickBooks, you can do that with the click of a mouse by using the Submit Feedback option under the question mark icon, which is located in the top right corner of every page in Procore. We would very much love to partner with you to make sure that you are able to get the most out of your investment, so any information you can provide us to help get there will be greatly appreciated. This concludes our QuickBooks integration video. Thanks for watching.